Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Burton Ballers. So um, we are now down to the three preferred bidders and if reports are to be believed we have um, the Saudis are no longer in the race but we have the uh, Martin Broughton group, we have um, Todd Bowley's consortium and believe it or not we have the Ricketts. Today I'm saying no to the Ricketts. Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the risers. We're the performers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. So guys, I haven't been making videos for a few days now. I've given it a break because there's been a lot of noise surrounding who's going to be taking over at Chelsea and there's so much speculation. So I didn't really want to be just um, making video after video until I was certain about who the Rain Group had, be, had chosen as their preferred um, bidders. News came out today. First, the first news we got that is that the Saudi Media Group, a group that a lot of people, including myself, wouldn't have minded to be the um, new owners of Chelsea. They tweeted that um, they um, were no longer in the race. They were disappointed not to be in the race, but they said they were willing to work as part of a consortium for the preferred bidder if they wanted them to. So. Um, that didn't go down well with a lot of our fan base. You know, I don't know what they, you know, w when they dissected the um, the bid, whether there were some 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 things, some red flags in there, why they didn't choose them, or maybe the fact that um, they want the deal to move through really quickly, and um, with Saudi owners, they're thinking that it's going to take longer than than they would like. And also, one thing to note as well, a lot of people are thinking because it's. Um, uh, the Saudi media group that they are all wealthy. Not all the Saudi media are wealthy. You've got the, the royal family are wealthy. And if you look on, on the, do a quick search on, 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 um, the, for the rich list of the, the richest, um, Arabs. And, you know, they don't really have uh, that. When I say rich, they are rich, but not in, the, in the, that, the, the sort of Roman Abramovich rich thing. A lot of them are just on two billion pounds or, 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 or below, really. There's not a lot of them who are, um, it, having making you know having got big money at their disposal so um but um with that aside i thought i liked their plans and it wasn't only um the saudi media group but they had a consortium who were going to go in with them i didn't i wasn't a full i didn't have the full details of of, of the, the the consortium so you know um it is what it is so so there's no saudi media but the club how could the club include the Ricketts? I don't care how much money they got. They've got that Griffin, Ken Griffin guy, who is um, 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 teaming up with them, and he's rich. He's got he's, he's he's rich. He's got double the amount of money that um, Roman has. He's he's worth about twenty twenty billion pounds or something. But money is not everything. This this group are you know. They are racist. I said it before when I made one of my earlier videos. You know, they made some derogatory comments about the the, the Muslims, um, but they were sort of distancing um, themselves of, of that, and they're saying, "Look, it was his father, and the father's not involved in the deal, etc." But you know what? He's still the, the one who's, who's in charge of the group. The, 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 so he's the one who hands out the money at the end of the day, and. Um, all that PR that they were saying and adding some, um, what they did, they added some Muslim group saying that, no, 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 they're fine now, they're okay, it's all changed. You know, how much did they pay that? They probably um, invested some money in their mosque or something for them to say something like that. But a lot of the Muslims that I know personally do not want this this group anywhere near us. And if you have changed, why did you make that comment? They made a comment about the um, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. And one of them, and it wasn't the father, it was one of the sons this time. They called it the Kung Flu, apparently. So, lepers don't change their spots. But it's not only the racism thing that I don't like about them. What The other thing I don't like with them is they don't know how to run a claim. Ask the Chicago Cubs. 
Chicago Cubs want them out. They were pleading poverty um, a few years ago. And they, they said they ran out of money. They let a lot of their staff go. Um, and they are badly run. People in America have said, stay clear of, of the Ricketts um, family. And they can make all these empty promises about how they're going to build a new stadium. They're going to invest in the club. But when I was looking, I always like to see what um, these uh, people who are bidding for the club. I like to see what they've done with, with uh, sports, uh, sporting institutions that they've run in the past. And these guys, their track record isn't great. So the racism thing, the track record, no to the, uh, no to the Ricketts, no to the Ricketts, no, no, no to the Ricketts. And if the club do not listen to the supporters, it's going to get nasty. It's going to get horrible. You know. They can play a part in this club folding because all Roman Abramovich's hard work will be undone. You know, um, there's going to be protests outside. You know, there's going to be people who um, are not going to support the club financially anymore. You know, Chelsea is in the blood. So, you, you know, people say they won't support them. But yeah, they will because, you know, if you're a Chelsea fan, you're a Chelsea fan. But... You know, it's going to have a toxic toxicity around the ground. We saw what happened with the likes of um, when we had Rafa Benitez there. You know, we saw what happened when um, Abramovich wanted to move us away from Stamford Bridge. The fans, they get together and they galvanise. And we don't want that because what's going to happen is um, Thomas Tuchel's not going to like that. He may want away. Some of the players may want away. And we're going to just become a Manchester United like the Glazers or the Arsenals under the Cronkies. And we don't want that, guys. So I hope they are listening to us, they're listening to the supporters, and they do not accept this um, Ricketts bid. If they accept this Ricketts bid, then they are definitely trying to ruin every good thing that Abramovich has done. So I reiterate again, no to the Ricketts family. So the others in the running, Todd Bowley, um, he seems to know what he's doing when it comes to running a sports institution. My only red flag with him as well is the, the money that he's leveraging. And is he gonna, are we going to have to be paying back big loans similar to what with the Glazers? You know, I don't know a lot about his, his, um, the people who are coming into this consortium. We've got Grandpa, haven't we, the old wise guy, you know, hopefully he doesn't um, pop his clogs in the next two years because um, that side of the money is going to be drying up. Um, and there's what's that group? This investment group, or I don't know. Um, if they're worth, is it? I can't remember what it was. Twenty billion, thirty billion, or something in assets. I think it's an asset management group. But if we are taking out loans from them. What are the repayments going to be? You know, they're not going to be gifting it like Roman used to do. You know, we there's going to have to be um, some repayments. That's why I've always said we need to build a stadium. We need to get our commercial um, revenue up to you know that top level, so that we don't have to rely on um, hands out and outs anymore, and we can be a self-sustaining club who make a healthy profit. And then the Broughton Group, but the Broughton Group, they haven't let us know who their um, who their backers are at the moment as well. So they are the third group who are apparently on this list. So I, I'm 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 sort of curious to see who who their um, who their backers are. Um, the Candies one hasn't been mentioned yet. So I'm not sure whether that's going to be on the list or not. But you know that one's still in that sort of grey area, and. You know, there's been a lot of hype with this um, uh, South Korean woman on board and apparently trillions of dollars from some backers. But again, is that all sort of um, noise without any substance? I don't know. But I'm hoping, because sometimes the board do things that you do not have a lot of faith in, but I'm hoping that they've done their due diligence. I'm hoping that they are listening to the uh, the supporters' opinion as well when they make that final decision. So I won't get angry yet. I'm going to wait and see who the preferred bidder is. And if it is the Ricketts, boy, there's going to be carnage. What do you think, guys? Stick your comments in the section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Take care. Bye-bye.